Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to another live stream on the Nitsuj No Bill Twitch channel. My name is Nitsuj, and today I am playing some Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons with Jensen. Uh, say hello, Jensen. Goodbye. Alright, folks, that's everything. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, uh, I guess I'll just, uh, go live on my end now. Uh, bringing my teams correct here. Here we go. Yep, and I will add your stream. Here's that way yours, chat can see. Yours up, I already have up, but it's... Yeah. I, need to fix, I need to fix the cropping. Same. <laughs> Shame we couldn't do this off off stream, but that would have been impossible. Yeah, these sorts of things. Oh really my are... god, I forgot to put up my mop, my VTuber model. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a first. I don't think I've ever done that. Doing pretty good. How are you? A uh, little sweaty, a little tired. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Avoiding a take two on that one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, I've gotten things pretty well aligned. I am happy with that alignment. I have not. Here. Alright. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. They do a goof. I'm, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if I did either. Uh, well, let me just get what I need to do. Alright, uh, I'm gonna switch back into my OBS. So, everyone, how you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Alright, what's that? Uh, so, I believe the plan is for this that you and I will be playing through Oracle of Ages. Uh, and Oracle of Seasons, respectively, then swapping to do the other one with the code uh, from right. each game, uh, respectively. Yep, we just use our codes we earn and proceed with the uh, our second games. Yes. Also, I just realized, because I'm not a subscriber to you, uh, my chat is going to see whatever ads Twitch pushes on your channel. Oh, crap. Whoops. <laughs> uh, hmm. I have a way to fix this. Um, chat, don't don't judge me, but I'm gonna use Brave with its ad blocker for this. Uh, Jensen, are you okay with me doing that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, do you do you have your screen showing the game right now or? Uh, my game, or not? yeah. Okay, uh, hold on. I need to uh, actually pull. Did I pa oh, I accidentally paused your stream. I'm, I meant to. I meant to mute it. I accidentally paused. <laughs> I see. Ooh, soccer. All right. Uh, looks like we got everything working. This. Oh. Did I? God, I forgot to unmute everything, too. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Okay, everything's unmuted. Everything's on screen. Okay. 
all crises and everything are averted uh, away. <laughs> Why does it look weird to see your stream and see my model? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, to everyone in Noble's chat, if, uh, if anyone has anything to say to me, I can't read it. You know, I'm just going to put up with the ads. Brave does not want to work. Uh oh. oh and my PC has gotten worryingly quiet, so. I mean, you could be a subscriber and you could be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Genception, indeed, Genception. Yeah. <laughs> I still think I gotta say this. This whole setup feels pretty cool looking. Oh, well, thank hey, you. Hey, Dr. Hugo. Um, I the, the font shrunk down on my chat. God damn it. Uh, set font size. Well, something about my computer has become unresponsive, and I'm not sure what it is. That's not good. No, it actually won't let me do anything, but nothing seems to be broken aside from that. Mm. If my mouse moves, just fine. Okay. There we go. Now, now, I, and I, Angel, hi, Angel. Thank God everyone's showing up after I uh, fixed all the problems. And my problems are just starting again. Okay, I think I got things partially fixed. Ah, okay. Got them fully fixed. Welcome back, Noble. Good to be back. Alright, my chat, you're just gonna have to put up with occasionally seeing ads on what Jensen's playing. Uh, Fox or Bonk? Oh, yeah, let me, let me... Let's see here. I meant to unpause that, let's see. Jensen, is your gameplay paused? Uh, no, it's not paused. Did you pause my stream? No. Bonus ducks! Sure well, let me refresh it, but I didn't. On the way home, right. dude, some box moving, doing some box moving and cleaning tomorrow. We start moving everything else. Bad reception area, but wanted to stop by and say hi, let you know. Ooh, ooh. Most of the toilet would be put in. Nice! Also, thank you for the bonus ducks. And yes, we, we do have some genception going on. Yeah. Alright, looks like you gotta work in the end. And there, there you go, Angel. The bonk is fixed. Yes, yeah, got things working. But, but as a. But has a cooldown now, so you can't spam it. Everything's good? Yep, everything's good. Alright. Shall we so, get right I'm... into this? Yeah. Sorry, didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. I was gonna basically say for everyone on both sides, uh, how's everyone like the very nice overlay that Noble here set up? I think it's fucking badass. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. 
Right. But what uh, if the bull and the shark smooch with a tiny me in the middle to get eight? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's, um... Alright, now, are you gonna be Bimmy or am I gonna I'm be Bimmy? Gonna... Oh, I forgot we... that's what we are gonna do. Uh, I'll be Bimmy since I already put in the B. Alright. And I will I be about Jimmy. To name him Borg. Thanks for reminding me. I was literally about to name him Borg. <laughs> Apparently, Angel's gonna unfollow because I put a cool down on the bog. No. Message speed, let's set it to two. Oh, wait, hold on. I need to fix something here. Accept our quest hero. I need a, I need to fix your, your screen here. I'm blue, I booty 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 I accidentally cropped off a little too much. Hold on. <laughs> You're all good. You're all good. Uh, somehow what you did shrunk your screen on mine. Hmm? I'm not sure how or why, but whatever you did shrunk your screen on mine. That's weird. Uh, gamer mouse, that's not how those in-game action bands work. <laughs> uh, five minutes, no hitting chickens. <laughs> Starting right. Oh, good thing there now. aren't chickens in this game. Yes, I think he meant cuckoos. Gotta go be back. No, nope. clearly, thanks to Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, it shows that cuckoos and chickens are completely different. True. True. It annoys me that noble saying that wrong. Saying what wrong? Right. Help! <clears throat> what am I? What am I saying wrong? There we go. That was frightening. I was suddenly attacked. Thank you, traveler. What is your name? Jimmy, is it? I see. A tri uh, I see a Triforce on your back. L your uh, back of your left hand. That is a sign of a Hyrulean hero. That must be why the beasts fled. I am Impa, nurse to Hyrule's princess Zelda. Uh, Let me push the I'm blue song. Oh, did he? Did he? I'm blue, I believe I will die. Babadi, oh. I'm blue, I believe I will die. You're right, he did. <laughs> it's pretty hot. Ah, I've uh, I've encountered Impa. It's worse than Weston's British accent, eh? Hey. Out of my way, boy. All right, well, let's head off here to the right. Let's see what there is to see. All right, nothing. Okay, Angel, go feed the children.
Oh crap, I gotta... Uh, uh -oh. I gotta set myself to do not disturb. There we go. Oh, am I in streamer mode? There's a question. I am, yeah, okay. It occurs to me a lot of just... Not just this game, but a lot of Game Boy Color games also just had some really good music. Yeah. Sound chips. Now, I'm a little stumped, but... You're stumped already? I know they're supposed to... I think I was supposed to go talk to the singing woman. Yeah. So I can't figure out how to get past the animals blocking her. <laughs> do I really... Do I really need to give you hints at the very beginning of the game? Oh, okay. I've got to talk to that thing a couple of times. Okay. Uh-oh. Children have gone missing. Ah, uh, Nehru's pretty cute. Oh, she's cute and quite beautiful, and then it's just an absolute hottie. So, uh, do you use uh, any of the filters on your uh, switch there or do you just keep it rather crystal clear oh there's a question do i uh now i don't remember off the top of my head let me just quickly uh create a suspend point i'm gonna go check how the hell did you do that angel better go find them uh i use uh uh, I just use the Game Boy Color setting. Oh, this just reminds me, and I just realized there's a thing in this game that doesn't look like we're going to be able to use. Oh? Okay, so do you see the, the house I'm at with the closed door? Um, yes. So there's also going to be something like that in your game. The only You want to know the way you get into these houses? How? You got to play it on the Game Boy Advance. Ah. <laughs> you up my side. Well, why did you do that? Ain't you like to do that? Although I will say, uh, Noble, I think uh, uh, your game that actually had my favorite, bo one of my favorite bosses in both of them. Oh. I think your game has the thwomp that has the rotating head. Yes, I think so. There was one thing that I just really, really did not like with uh, Oracle of ages and that is uh once you get the uh, mermaid scale and how you swim after you receive it ah fair i don't know i came up with that idea but having to repeatedly press on the d-pad in the direction you wanted to go i don't think that was a great idea no especially not with the game boys d-pad oh yeah Got my sword. Ah, yes, your master sword. I know it's not the master sword. Hello, little taquito. How you doing, cutie? Hello, taquito. Got 
30 rubies. That's nice. Actually, you want to know something pretty cool that I didn't realize until you, I played the Link system? Oh, uh, what's that? So, you know, in ages, Queen Ambie's building that tower to uh, so her husband can find his way home? Yeah. Did you know that you, you actually meet the husband in Oracle of Seasons? Yes, I do, actually. Okay. Ah, oh, you're doing good. I'm glad to hear it, little Tikito. I wonder if Nehru, if uh, Mount Lanehru is named after Nehru, actually. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yeah, my question is if there's anything for your equivalent to her. Uh, my brain, for some reason, has forgotten the name. Din? Din, yeah. Um, I believe there is. Wait, you have the dragons that also have their the names similar. And yeah, true. Yeah, let me let me take a quick look. Well, you got Din Rol, but that's the dragon. Yeah, I'm thinking some sort of equivalent to Mount Lanayru. Mm -hmm. Now, alright, I think I need to head to Rolling Ridge if I'm not mistaken. No, that would be incorrect. Oh, this tree oh. opened up. Okay. Probably would have to actually... Oh, thank you for the stretch, Angel. And for the hydrate. I think I would actually would have to actually look at the map to find anything. I always liked in the in seasons how as the game progressed the the Deku trees or Maku trees whatever it was how his roots get larger and larger. Yeah, it was always kind of neat actually. Bad luck. My rep, because apparently whenever uh, she's at my streams, apparently bad things happen. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. All right, I got the gnarled key. Nice. In case anyone's wondering what I'm doing, I'm just going around making sure I've got everything on the map. Okay, bad things happen to Angel always. Angels have bad karma. Ah. 
sound just like me. Alright. You know, if I recall, I think when they were making the Oracle games, I think they actually meant to make, originally make it a reboot of the very first Zelda game. That sounds right to me. I think one of the evidences that uh, keeps that there is how the first dungeon in this game is the dead tree on an island, just like in um, the original Zelda. Yeah, now it's possible that they just took inspiration from the original Zelda. Well, this was what? Uh, they're like fifth and sixth game they made? Yeah. Though it was the first one Capcom had made. I think Capcom only work on four. Uh, I thought, I thought they worked on Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons, and then did Minish Cap as well. They also worked on uh, Four Swords. On right, the yes. Game Boy port of Link to the Past. Because great things happen to you. I definitely have my fair share of bad things more than my fair share of good things. Yeah, I think even the boss in this temple is uh, the same boss in the first Zelda. Alright, based on what I'm seeing, I'm either going to get the hammer or the gloves out of this temple. Oh, where you're at right now? Yeah. Um, sure, you can believe that. Well, it just looks like all around the village there are, like, the holes that you need to hit with the hammer to advance. Or those big rocks that you need the gauntlets to lift. <laughs> At least your boyfriend doesn't refuse to put the eye in. I love you to piss you off. Now, they're definitely taking a little bit of inspiration from A Link to the Past with their portals, though. Yeah. Why is Noble's stream creaming? <laughs> what do you mean, my stream is creaming? No, the, the tree, the tree on your stream. Oh. Is I know, right, Yoko, these games are always just great to come back to. I was very happy to see these come to the Switch. Though I still would have preferred if it, they became remade like Link's Awakening. No, for real, why did it look like that? Because it just does. That's how the game designers made it. Yeah. I think it's because they were trying to make it look like it was in pain, uh, but did a bad job. It's a maple. <laughs> You're welcome, Angel. Someone's siphoning sap. <laughs> oh my. Right. Bombs. Oh, that's right. He doesn't just place the bombs. He actually holds them over his head first. I held aloft my mighty bomb and said, By the power of King Babam. 
explosion. I have the kabooms. I have the blammies. Damn it. I just came over here for nothing. I don't even have the key I need. God dang it. Um, I'm already about to die. I died. Oh, I haven't even taken damage. I went to a place I needed a key, didn't get a key, and trying to go backwards there didn't work. Why can't you bonk? It should, you should be able to bonk. Also, can I just say I absolutely love the music in this game, like... Yeah, you can say that. It's some absolutely top-tier Zelda music. Oh, yeah. As I've mentioned before off-stream, Capcom just really was great with their sound ingenuity. Did you ever play Goof Troop on the SNES? Oh, fuck. It sounds familiar. That, that was another Capcom game. It's another one of those that their sound ingenuity just really thrives. <laughs> they uh... Eagle scared angel. <laughs> yeah, Capcom used to have some really peak sound engineers back in the day. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure how chuffed I am on most modern Capcom stuff. I don't really know anything else outside of Street Fighter when it comes to Capcom games these days, unfortunately. Well, maybe not entirely true. I did buy the newest Mega Man game they had. What did you think of it? Um, it didn't seem bad or anything. I was enjoying it. Uh, I took a break from it because I thought, hey, maybe I should stream this. And I, of course, I haven't done that because not, I've still got so many shit to stream already. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I'm gonna be totally honest. I found it a little disappointing. Why is that? Um, it felt like they were very slavish to the things that used to be what Mega Man was, instead of how the series evolved over time. Like, it felt like, to me anyway, I was playing essentially a modern redo of Mega Man 1, but with eight Robot Masters and the slide. Oh, uh, okay. Good job on not dropping the cake, Angel. I, I know that's also a controversial opinion. So. Nah, no, you're, you're always, you're entitled to your own opinions. I will say, I think one thing I, I at least liked, I'm sure if I played it more, I could I could find faults or something. I think I only did one Robot Master, but um, I was just happy that it was a newer Mega Man game that didn't go back to NES graphics. Yeah, I think I would have liked to see a return to uh, Mega Man X style gameplay though. But you're playing as Mega Man, not as X, is the thing. I I know. But there were is certain it, 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 quality of life features that they designed in Mega Man 11. Mm -hmm. Or not Mega Man 11, Mega Man X. Uh, sounds like you just want another Mega Man X game. Well, like, for example, in Mega Man X, there are very few of those infinite kill rooms where you're just going to grind your health away. Mm -hmm. Which, I know, those are a staple of Mega Man. But more because they wanted to stretch the time out of the games, because, you know, that's what they wanted could, to do. You know, it could have been worse, though. True, yeah. It could have been another Mighty Number no. 9. 
Uh, that's true, yeah. I think mighty number nine. Ah, there we go. Okay. Got the shovel now. Don't forget your shovel if you want to go to work. Oh, don't forget your shovel if you want to go to work. How did a cake cost you a hundred dollars in damages, Angel? What the hell did you make that cake out of? Uranium. Hello, hello, two BV. Thank you for the thank you for the hydrate. The uh, the cake is yellow. And uh, it may or may not be uranium. Angel made a yellow cake. He made a cake out of yellow uranium. That's uh, that's how it caused her damages. Yeah, it was apparently a chocolate truffle. You know, I was hoping she would say I was right. That'd be bad considering she was making this. Truffle juice. Isn't that not what I said? A truffle, chocolate truffle? No, but that'd be pretty bad because she's apparently making that for a kid. Oh, gee. Wait, totally what? Chocolate truffle really for a kid? I believe she said it's uh, her neighbor's kid's birthday, so, but they couldn't make the cake, so she made the cake for them. Okay. Because she's an absolute sweetheart. Yeah, I just thought chocolate truffle, like, well, truffle is expensive, isn't it? Oh, uh, I, th I think you got, you know, like, two different kinds of truffles. Like, the actual, like, uh, like, fungi truffle and then, like, a chocolate truffle. Oh, that's fair, yeah. I guess a chocolate truffle essentially just, like, a ganache in a chocolate shell. That's, yeah, that's probably right. One, my, one time my dad got really pissed off at me because I made my own birthday cake. Really? Yeah. Why? I guess he thought uh, the birthday person shouldn't be making their own cake. I love baking. Uh, same here. Every year I make my own birthday cakes. It's like, yeah, I want to bake that. I know exactly what I want to do with it. Yeah, I was actually, I just realized my mom said she's going to bake my cake just a little later at the, my birthday. And I, it's just occurred to me that never happened. <laughs> I'm not saying it's her fault or anything. It's just everyone's been busy. I think we just kind of forgot. I think we all forgot. And I, I was concerned because, again, I... Well, the, my birthday this year, I, I bought my own cake. I didn't make my own cake. I, I didn't have time to make my own cake. But last time, I made a cake so big, I, I shared more of the cake to friends and family than eating it. Yeah, that's fair. It was a double-decker black forest cake with a chocolate ganache in between the layers. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Uh, the cake I made uh, for my boyfriend's birthday. Um, he likes baking, but uh, he um, he did not feel like baking on his birthday. Um, uh, was um, uh, a uh, vanilla cake with white chocolate uh, on it. That sounds nice. Yeah. Um, it's something he very, very much likes. So That's I... Nice. Uh, yeah, I thought it'd be nice to get that, to make that for him. I think for my 15th birthday, I think instead of a cake, I think my... Well, I think. It's more just trying to think of which birthday it was. But I guess essentially one of my birthdays, my mom just made me a uh, peanut butter cream pie. Yeah, that is actually, that does sound really good. It was, but admittedly, you realize how overpowering peanut butter can seem. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> your, your screen just gave me PTSD. Oh, why? Um, back when I was working graveyards and I was streaming my randomizer of Oracle of Ages, 
Um, this was when I had just discovered how to make fall new follower alerts. And I was at this particular screen, and it scared the piss out of me. <laughs> I even remember who it was. It was, uh, it was Jessica. Ah, okay. I think you've mentioned her to me before. I cannot for the life of me remember which... Ah, there we go. But to say, I cannot remember for the life of me which one of these switches I'm supposed to hit. It's like, oh, never mind, I got it. Did you get it? Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. Yeah, you get shit, girl. Made the wedding cake for the wedding that was supposed to be mine. <laughs> Yeah, okay. My, uh, and she, she's actually a really talented baker over in, uh, Colorado. Ooh. And, uh, she made a, she made a cake that was a bus of the Predator. Oh, dude, nice. Like, I didn't know it was a cake. It was, it looked so fucking crazy. Does she by chance use green frosting and stuff? No, that's not my aunt. <laughs> Sorry, just happened to know that she's also in Colorado, and I'm like, hmm. No shit, really? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. That lady's probably more closer to my age. Okay. It was just like no, a... My, my aunt, she, she doesn't use a, a, that signature green buttercream. <laughs> um, uh, she, she runs a... a bakery i believe she calls it snarky sweets ah okay so just when you mentioned it i happen to go hold on do these do these happen to be the same thing no no or i guess in this case do these people happen to be the same person nope okay hold on be right back I have a feeling that that can't have been the first dungeon. It didn't feel like a dungeon at all. Okay. No, that's just kind of funny that my aunt and that lady both live in Colorado. Yeah, that's... Ah, no, here we go. Here's the first dungeon. Yeah, no, you're talking, to, you're talking about the lady who made, like, the cake toilet for Mr. Beast's Willy Wonka factory, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that is not my aunt. Okay. Although one time um, when I was in middle school, uh, my aunt made this uh, uh, cake of a barrel, and the vegetables inside were actually Rice Krispies. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That sounds delicious. Oh, it really was. And the best part was, uh, at the end... By the way, I already finished one dungeon. <laughs> well, all right, then. <laughs> uh... Anyway, uh, at the end, uh, there was one quote-unquote vegetable left. It was a turnip. Mm, so I turnip. Took, so I took it to school as a treat, and I pulled it out, and, and it was like, what? Why do you only have a turnip? Why? It's like, oh, because uh, I like turnips. And then I bit into it like it was an apple. <laughs> you know, I have actually done that with turnips. They're pretty good. I'll have you? Yeah. I never had an actual turnip. They're good. Have you had Korabi by chance? Never heard of it, so probably not. Ah, it's really good. They're like turnips, but spicy. Mm. I say spicy. It's kind of like the same sort of spice and air quotes as like um, a horseradish. A horseradish. Yeah, it's not as hot as horseradish. Not that horseradish is hot, but, you know. Why did I say a turnip? I meant to just say a radish. Not horseradish, just a radish. <laughs> I, I figured that's what you meant. Yeah. Apparently, Tane Joseph says, molding with Rice Krispies is, is living hell. I, uh, I would believe you. I've never done anything that fancy with cake, so I usually just do, like, fairly standard maze cake. 
Mmm, cake. Mmm, cake. I wish I could have a cake. Hey, it's the Jawa! Hey, the Jawa! In all honesty, I always like the the uh, Subroja dance rather than the Goron dance. I found it a lot more fun. So sticky and I hate them, they taste gross. Well, why do you make them if you hate them? Oh, see, I love Rice Krispies. You know what? Actually, for a good while, uh, with the... I don't remember this Jawa's name. But the key on her waist, this, I actually kept thinking it was a wooden spoon when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to lie. Until you said it was a key, um, I thought it was a cooking spoon. <laughs> like, genuinely, until you just said that, I'm like, yeah, the one with the cooking spoon. Yeah, no, that's, that's a key. Huh. It looks like a spoon. It does look like a spoon. It still looks like a spoon. It... It doesn't help that it doesn't have notches on the handle that would make it look like a key. It's smoothed out like a spoon! Exactly! Oh. Is it is it bad that I'm thinking about the song Big Iron right now? <laughs> you got on his heels. Not just honest, but still numbered one and nineteen more. One and nineteen more. I can't do those long low notes so well. I, I could if I cared. But the only time I care is when I'm singing along in like car drives. Time for some Sabrosia dancing. Okay. Sorry about going quiet there for a second. I was racking my head trying to remember what I was supposed to do. No, that's fine. I was focused in the mini game. That's why I got quiet. Ah, okay. I got the boomerang. A lot of these guys just take baits and lava. That's how I know this game. Oh, from the dance? <laughs> Did I tell you about uh, when I recreated something from Epic, Me Epic Meal Times Candy Barbecue video? Uh, no, I don't think you have actually. Alright, uh, so have you ever actually watched uh, Epic Meal Time? Okay, no, but <laughs> we'll move past hey. that for the sake of the story. Well, they make ridiculous foods that could clock in at hundreds of thousands of calories. Oh, and then they just eat. They just eat at it like fucking animals. It's kind of. I, I like the cooking part. I hate watching the eating part. Feels like the kind of thing that you do for like, mm, yeah, we're donating this all to a homeless shelter sort of thing. I don't think anyone would take it. <laughs> if I'm being honest. That's fair. Yeah. So. They Not did fit episode, for human consumption. Pretty much. <laughs> so they did an episode 
um, uh, known as the Candy Barbecue, as they emphasized uh, they're essentially going to give your sweet tooth a sexual root canal. And so they, they essentially made uh, candy fries, candy burger, and candy steak. And w when I had uh, my first ever sleepover with my best friend, um, well, best friend at the time, I honestly have a lot of friends, best friends now, because you're also on that list. Oh, well, thank um, you. Uh, we thought we'd create the candy burger. So the buns are donuts. The burger is essentially a chocolate rice crispy treat, but we just we just bought those like uh, galaxy little Debbie Galaxy Crisp things. Okay. Because that those are essentially the same thing. Um, the lettuce and tomatoes is uh, gummies. Of course, the condiments and the relish was icing. The bacon was uh, Airheads Extreme Sour Strips. They. They, they refer to it as gay bacon strips. Okay. <laughs> um, I think that's it, actually. I don't think they actually had something cheese-wise, which I think we could have used, like, a fruit roll-up to make the cheese. Possibly, yeah. And, uh... I, I don't really... I don't... I don't say I regretted making that and eating that, but I don't really think I will ever do that again. Entirely fair, yeah. It's kind of those, like, one-time novelty things. Yeah, not super fit for human consumption. Mm-hmm. The steak was just a giant raw cookie dough sl smothered in, like, a a chocolate sauce and their quote unquote fries were Kit Kats oh my god Noble? yeah I, I need a <laughs> Angel just showed me this actually really cute so that Java's name is Rosa and uh okay Angel the second one you just sent me I have seen that one I have not seen the first one but, uh, I think you need to see this art. I'm gonna DM it to you. Okay, yeah, I'll give a look to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Angel, I, I have seen that second one. Not that first one, though, but that, I like that first one. Oh, that's cute. Almost looks kind of like a shy guy. Yeah, without the without the mask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's almost like a different variation of like shy girl arts, actually. Yeah, you're not wrong. I'm traumatized. I'm just uh, I've given up and I just let things be as they are on the internet. Alright. Got the rod. Got the magical rod. Mm, rod. Nah, I didn't show him the other one. Actually, it's funny. Do you want to know how the word Nimrod became an insult? How? So, it's because of Bugs Bunny. Really? Yes. So, the word Nimrod... Uh, Enter to English because it's a person's name in the Bible, Nimrod the Hunter. Huh. And he was a well-renowned hunter, very good at it, you know? Um, and Bugs Bunny is calling um, uh, Elmer Fudd a little Nimrod. It's not an insult, but it's more meant to be like, aw, cute little hunter, can't even do your job right. <laughs> uh, Angel, says, I have some, Angel says I have some of like Shaggy and Velma, Shrek, Mario, Peach, so many. 
<laughs> and Angel, it just sounds like you explore the, the dark ears of the internet like I do. And apparently Bugs Bunny is her nickname. Ah, okay. Okay, uh, sorry, for, sorry for the interruption. No, 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 no. Uh, so yeah, that's that's how it became an insult is because uh, he was calling uh, Elmer Fudd a Nimrod, and so people started using Nimrod to mean, ah, you're like Elmer Fudd. <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah. Started off as a, you know... Yeah. You know, a, uh, an insult about, you know, uh, you're you're just a bad little hunter, but you're cute, I guess. To being like, ah, you're a dumbass. I actually really like in Ages how you get the mirror shield. Yes. Also, hello, Pro Slayer. How you doing, cutie? Well, on purpose. I searched Cartoon Corn instead of Cartoon Corp. And went down a strange internet rabbit hole. <laughs> sure you did. Ah, okay, here we go. Now I'm in what I believe to be the right place. Are you sure about that? Yes. I'm I'm in the graveyard now. Okay. The internet interests you, the internet terrifies me. I saw what you did, and my question is why? Oh, um, uh, why? Why I did what? Uh, there, there. That's my question. I, I, I completely forgot to get a ring box. Yeah, that's essentially how it is, Angel. Once you kind of see yourself in that category of fan art, that is pretty much it. Alright, I need a key. So, it shouldn't be too far from here, I don't think. Here's a question for you. Yo. In the Oracle games, which animal companion is your favorite? Oh, that's a good question. Hmm. He's not answering my question. He asked you a question so he could answer your question. It was Pro Slayer that asked you why, right, Noble? Yes, my question is why. I'm not sure why to what, though. That's my yeah. question. Yeah, Slayer just came to my chat saying he's not answering my question. I don't know what the question was. Also, why does that timer keep occasionally appearing whenever I leave buildings? The, the question was why. 
Yeah, but why what? <laughs> that that timer there, the blue timer. Yeah. Okay. The blue timer means you're in the present time. The old wooden one shows means you're in the past. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I was super confused about that. I'm like, what the fuck is it popping up? Is it like a mini game yeah. timer or what? <laughs> but yeah, uh, seeing uh, in the uh, seasons game, it reflects uh, the season you're in on that screen. Uh, winter, summer, fall, and spring. You did it yesterday, or was it the day before? <laughs> I don't know what you mean, then! I'm sorry, Pro Slayer! Yeah, Slayer, you might need to... Uh, you might need to inform the poor Sharko here. There's been, there's been a lot going on since then. Did something I'm wondering why. What, what's that something, then? I can explain why if I know what it is. Nothing traumatizing more than seeing people buffing or pushing Gex to Gecko. That was one with him and the uh, uh, Yuka. Do you mean me following you? I saw that you live streamed, so I followed you. I don't know. Maybe that's what you're asking about. I don't know. Also, I forget where Wait. I'm supposed to go get the key. Angel, I don't think you could send me something on that that I haven't already seen. In that department. Use your head? Yes, that's... Because I saw you streamed, and I thought, oh, I know, I'll give you a follow. I... Yeah, I've already seen that, Angel. Why do people do it? Because people have weird fetishes. Why do people do oh, yeah. what? Um... Weird fetish stuff to characters. So long as the character is an adult, I don't strictly see what's wrong with that. Yes, they do, Angel. Yes, they do. I made I've made several characters explicitly to do weird fetish things with. <laughs> I may or may not have invented a whole fictional species to do weird fetish things with. Angel, I can't see my chat. Because you streamed. Okay, look. You're a member of the community, and I saw that you streamed. So, I thought I'd come drop a follow on you. Okay. Yeah, but why? So that way I can catch you live. So I can come and hang out and support you. Yeah, but why? <laughs> because I'm about to have a fucking aneurysm, that's why. Okay. <laughs> I still can't bonk. Okay. Then Hold on. Why is the bonk not working? No, not the Y thing again. <laughs> uh, let's see. Review request queued. Here we go. I don't know why I can't do squats. It's not paused. Why am I gonna yeah, have an aneurysm? Fun. I don't know. We just made it up. I'll be fine. No aneurysms happening here. Let me check. Just extreme confusion on where the fuck I'm supposed to get the key from. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Uh, I think. Looks like when I made the cooldown for the bonk, I think I broke it. How did you set it up? I thought I set it for maybe a minute. Uh, it's saying I have an hour and four minutes left on the cooldown. Hmm, yeah. So that that's why I screwed up on the cooldown time. I can I can fix that. That I can fix. I meant to just make it a, like a minute. I I think I made it for I think I made it a couple hours. Let me see. Yeah, I think I made it for two hours. Whoopsie. So why did you say it? <laughs> I don't know. Look, I saw you were in the community. I thought, oh, that's nice. And then it's like, oh, you stream. Okay, I'm going to give you a follow. I don't 
I don't know. I want to support cuties who come to my stuff. And, you know. They're all I've done. I don't even get bonk. I, f I screwed up, okay? I fucked up. I fucked up. I'll fix it. The, the aneurysm thing? I don't know. It was I was trying to be funny. I thought it was funny. I know, but now I may be asked why I made the joke about the aneurysm. Well, why did you make the joke? Because I was trying to be funny. Well, why would you want to be funny? I don't know. Why don't you know? Because <laughs> I'm an ID 10 t error? I love how just from this line, this means that this the story and of Santa Claus exists in the Zelda universe. I, yeah, you're not wrong. Santa exists, but not Jesus. <laughs> now explain how we got Christmas with this. We got That's a good question. We got a Santa, no Jesus. So I discovered something. Okay, and... you're you're not wrong, Pro Slayer. You're not you're not wrong. I, they shouldn't have said that. So I, I discovered something, and. Um... I'm now concerned that I probably looked like an idiot all day and no one told me or not. Okay. So, I am literally wearing a completely brand new pair of pants. Okay. Like, literally, I took off the tags and everything this morning before putting them on. Well, right when we right when we were on the getting soon screen for our stream, uh, I discovered the uh, size sticker was on the left ass cheek of my pants. I see. I don't know if I accidentally sat on it, uh, like if it was on my chair, or if that was on my left ass cheek all day and nobody just fucking told me. Maybe people just liked looking at your ass and didn't want to give you a reason to not show it off. Or didn't want to have a reason to not stare. I mean, I'm not wrong, that's a possibility. <laughs> I was the angel. I don't know if he did. I don't know if who did. Is she spelled aneurysm right? Ah. Uh -uh. I now have my shovel. Oh, it took you that long to get the shovel? Yeah, you you don't get the shovel until you're make making your way to the second dungeon. Oh, I've already got the shovel. It's kind of integral to me getting um to the tree. Angel says, it's okay, Jensen. I sat on a burrito and went out into busy London with beans stuck to me. How do you sit on a burrito? Strangely lost your entire kneecap. Oh, that's not good. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. What about some of the kneecaps? Uh, Pro Slayer's sister almost lost her entire kneecap. What, is she dealing with the mafia or something? Are you gonna bust her kneecaps? No, I think more in an aneurysm sense. Oh. Oh, okay. Jensen is about to get cancelled. Why am I about to get cancelled? Silence out there, what?
Oh, so I got some news. I don't know if I told you, but um, it seems you guys are too nice. I could not be a streamer. I offend everyone. <laughs> um, okay. Anyway, I. It seems my hours at work are going to be cut. Oh no, that's not good. No, it's not. I mean, it gives me uh, more free time to stream and take care of shit at my house. So I could see that as a positive. Yeah, if she fell off her bike and slid on gravel, ooh, that's not good. That hurts. Also, I'm... I'm, so no, I get, oh. I'm just gonna say, I'm, no, I'm, uh, I'm in the first dungeon now, by the way. Oh, I saw. I, I can... I, st I always have OBS on my second monitor. I can see what you're doing. Yeah, okay. So, uh, Noble, you said you have a bike, right? Yeah. Motorcycle bike or bicycle bike? Uh, given uh, I can't uh, legally drive um, because the government has said I would be in immediate danger to myself and others, uh, it's, a, it's a bike bike, not a motorcycle bike. Okay, I died. Yeah, we died just seconds apart. Also nearly fell off a bridge once, so oh, that's not good. Everyone here needs to take better care of themselves. I don't know, Angel. I mean, chicken's chicken. Can I just say I always l love the, like, derpy-looking smiles on the snakes in this game? Yes. They are, no joke, adorable. You should know better than this one. Oh, what? Chicken? Chicken's chicken. There's nothing really exciting about chicken. First layer, thank you for redeeming first. Uh, please, uh, please enjoy the complimentary cookie that comes with being first. I think I'm on the mini boss of this here dungeon. Hey, I say, I say you are, yeah. And I think I'm gonna die. The way you feed chickens and the way you you death chickens make it a lot different. Well, of course, the way you feed chickens is different. Mmm, Jensen, thank you for the Ahara Ahara voice. And yes, Pro Slayer, a cookie. I'll put ten minutes on the Ahara Ahara counter starting right now. <laughs> Thought we needed to spice it up a little bit. Mmm, fair enough. I always, I also thought the power bracelet always just looked more like a croissant. Uh, croissant. Croissant. Yeah, croissant. Croissant. Hmm, I see. Are you gonna finish that croissant? <laughs> Oh, 
makes my fucking bog you chicken hater. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> mm, burb is burb. <laughs> and burb is delicious. And Angel, I say it all the time, I wear my horny on my head. Hmm, indeed you do. Which head? The one that you can see the horns on? Hmm, not like that's a bad thing. This, this was where I died. Hmm. I see, I see. What you got All going right. on there? Time for a mini boss fight. Oh, did did you not beat the boss? I did not, mini no. Boss? You know what I said? I'm probably gonna die. I was right, and I did. Ah. Uh, okay. Attempt number two, however, I succeeded. Good job. Oh well, thank you. You're welcome. I'm also guessing that this, uh, thing's boss is gonna be the hand thing. Uh, no. No? Okay. God damn it, yep, I was, I, I remember. No, I, I believe it was a pump, pumpkin head. Oh, that is a good point. Speaking of, I'm almost at a hundred. hundred what? Rupees. I'm at four hundred. Ah, very nice, you good boy. <laughs> I think I might like you saying that to me a little too much. Hmm, what's wrong with that? <laughs> oh, nothing really, I suppose. Exactly. <laughs> Put me in my car over the dress. <laughs> Did somebody actually marry their car? Mm, yes, I believe so. Yes, they did. I don't know, but thinking of that just makes me think of the Family Guy skewer where Peter married, was going to marry a pie until he ate it. <laughs> oh, I'm glad the cookie makes you happy. Oh, I'm sorry cookie makes you sad. Depends on the cookie, ah, I see. I'd like a cookie. Well, what kind of cookies make you happy, and what kind of cookies make you sad? Um... Hmm... I think the better question is trying to figure out which ones make me sad. I mean, how, how can I be sad about a cookie? 
Indeed, indeed. It's the same guy who thinks he's a. Because I, I really don't think there's a cookie I don't like. Well, unless it was like a badly made cookie, but that's when it's just a literal bad cookie. You mm, know? There are no bad cookies, only bad chefs. Oreo make me sad. Oh, how interesting. Well, don't worry. This is a nice chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> or, what's wrong with Oreos? I mean, have you seen the shrinkflation on them lately? Well, yeah. Orange flavor cookies are the worst. No, I even like those. They make me think of. They make me think of orange sherbet in cookie form. Mmm, very yummy. Damn it. Yeah, I, I like I like citrus sweets. Oh, you yourself. <laughs> Ah, the face boss. You're there already? I'm kinda stuck in this dungeon. Hmm, though, maybe I'd like to get you a bit stuck in my dungeon. <laughs> Don't promise me a good time if you can't keep it. Hmm, I'm not gonna make threats. I can't I can't keep uh keep my word on. <laughs> Sounds like you're ready for round two if that commission's round one. Oh my. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies make you sad. Oh no. What's Why wrong with a chocolate chip cookie? Yeah, I, I'm very confused, but what kind of cookie would you prefer? We have quite a variety of available cookies for the cuties who win the first. What would you say is actually your favorite cookie? Uh, Ooh. Mm. Chocolate chip and walnut. Mm, it's a really good combo. Yeah, it does sound delicious. Mine is like those, uh, those like knockoff Oreos where it's like the vanilla cookie and the lemon cream. Oh, very nice. Hey, Lior, what's going on? Also, Angel, you used the wrong two. Glad you're doing good, Lior. Mm hmm. Very good. Very glad to hear you are doing well. Ah, thank you for the hydrate. This water was a bit more chilled. Hmm, understandable. <laughs> oh, it's just with your and toss. <laughs> Right, in this game it's not the it's not the gloves, it's the power bracelet. 
Yeah, the croissant you wear on your wrist. Yeah. Tell me that does not look like a croissant. Come on. It does. Yeah, you know, I actually almost bought a container of croissants before leaving from work. It's just a shame if... you can't break the pots in this game. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, you can. Now that you got the power bracelet, you can. You can pick them up and throw them. Oh. Uh. uh... You gotta actually equip the power bracelet. Ah, okay. I was very confused. I got a ring, get it appraised later. Okay. There we go. Got the bowels key. Let's see if I can find some hearts before fighting the boss. Oh, there's one. Alright, uh, I guess we're going out with two and a half hearts. So, uh, Melville. You. What'd you, th what'd you think of that uh, whole, like, four swords thing I had going on with Joe the other day? I thought that was really cool. Good. You know, it's four players, right? I, uh, I did, yes. I would have to figure out some way to get on a dolphin emulator. Uh, I can show you the link that Joe shared with me. Because you do have to have, like, the same version, but... Of course, he shared with me the same version he had. Yeah, we should definitely think about doing that. I have some ideas for how I want to build an overlay. Uh, if I do that. Sure be handy. Oh, I don't... I think... I just realized we hadn't talked about, like, our favorite animal companions in this game. Oh, right, yes. I'm still not sure I have one, actually. Mine's I... Dimitri. Ah, fair. He's a cute little fucking Dodongo. How, how could I not like him? You make a compelling argument. And there's just one chest I'm missing, so let me go grab that. And then to the boss. Unfortunately, I don't remember how to get his horn in this one. I've got the power muscle. See. Also, I'd marry a macadamia nut cookie. Oh, I mean, that was our childhood favorite. Like, Subway's macadamia nut cookies. Those were my favorite as a kid. Agreed. They are very good. Hey, uh, Nubble. Yo. I'm two dungeons in now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, Seasons is kind of easy for me. It's more action-based, whereas uh, Ages is puzzle-based. Fair, yeah. Plus, so I did apparently... literally everything this dungeon has. Nah. So apparently, according to Angel, you remind her of their of her private school headmaster. Is that good? I don't know. She says it might be because I guess you two sound the same. <laughs> was was he? Did he happen to be a Canuck? Be a what? Canadian word for Canadians. Ah. Like how uh, Canadians sometimes call Americans Yankees. Mm. Even though I think that really only applies to people from the north. No, we even have our own term on Yankees. Okay. Well, he says he was a... He says he was cool. He was very gay, but cool.
All right, let's All try right. that again. You can do it. You got this, Noble. You can do it. Also, whatever Don't. I did seems to have made the stream fairly stable. We're uh, an hour and 40 minutes in. And this is when I start usually having uh, things start to break down, is around this time. And the uh, things are looking pretty stable. That's good. Um, I don't know if dropping the frames helped, or... In a private school, all teachers were stuck up, so he was kind of nice. Huh. That was nice. Yeah, I'm sorry the, the teachers were stuck up, but, you know. Hi, Mom! Oh, Mom, I got something to tell you. I, I meant to tell you when you stopped by my house the other morning, but I was too tired to remember. He did send to the hospital once by giving the walnut cake, though. Could have been attempted murder. You can't have walnuts, Angel? Oh, he likes walnuts like me. Okay. Uh, so Noble here, not only is he a fan of Forget About It, he's actually dressed up as Jimmy Falcone. I still have the purple pants somewhere. He still has the purple pants. It was really funny. He was talking about how he dressed up as a mobster. Mobster? I asked if you ever watched the show. And he said it was Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna do Cheech, but then I thought, nah, I can't pull Cheech off. I'm a, I'm a bit too heavy set for that. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, I need a change. <laughs> also, why do I smell <laughs> blood? That's not good. Oh look, I'm having a nosebleed. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, do you need Do you need a moment? Do you need a minute? Yeah, I'm just gonna. Go take, take him. Go take care of that man. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now, the way I okay. usually oh. do. She says that's so cool. All right, nosebleed <laughs> taken care of. Right. My mom says that's so cool. Oh well, that's thank you. I'm I'm glad you like. I'm glad you think that's cool. <laughs> uh, no one got it. <laughs> Everyone just thought, mm, yeah, you're dressed the way you normally would be, and it's like, okay, yeah, but the gold chain, I got my hair done up the way Jimmy does, I got the big cigar, and I'm going without my glasses, and everyone's like, yeah, we can see you just dressing like that normally. It's like, okay, you're not wrong. I liked it when uh, they were confiscating his weaponry, and he kept the one in his pants, like, Jimmy, what's that you have there? I'm a little excited. Glad you noticed. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Mama says, that's awesome. I think I completely sidetracked. Um, okay. Uh, looks like Ryder's gone live. Good for him. Yeah. And I have officially He's finished the first dungeon. Cool. I'm noticing Ryder's starting to, is slowly starting to do his streams earlier and earlier. For him. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't wrong. I just didn't know that the item in this one was the 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 uh, it was a bracelet as opposed to uh, <laughs> uh, the gloves. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of getting the power glove, you got a croissant. The croissant. Of power. Which is funny when you croissant. realize the French take credit for inventing the croissant, but it's really German. God, yeah, croissant actually sounds really fucking good. Just a nice, hot, buttery croissant. Mmm, croissant. Just sounds really good right now. But then again, this diet's making me want a lot of things. I'm pretty sure the day if I could eat every anything I want, I think I would eat everything I have been craving <laughs> until, until I pass out. Or until my stomach explodes. 
In fairness, I think I would do the exact same thing. Just everything bready and sugary and... <laughs> I think the first thing I'd eat is an ice cream sandwich that was deep fried. Oh, man. You know, I never had deep fried ice cream. My brother did, though. It's really difficult to actually make. Yeah, you gotta have, like, a super freezer, right? Kinda, yeah. Hey, Ricky. I, uh, I've usually done it with liquid nitrogen. Yeah, that works, man. Yeah. People think liquid nitrogen is, like, super expensive. It's not all that much money. Not, yeah, not really. Like, I paid, like... Isn't five bucks for like a gallon yeah my issue it's not it being expensive i actually just don't know where i can find it in my town that's entirely fair i live in a fairly large city there are weird chemistry shops like semi-commonly available because people here do stuff uh with things God, I, I love the music for the Temple Ruins area in this game. I love it. Can't read it from here. I'm right next to it. Symmetry City. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Crazy, uh, crazy old... Oh, no, it's not a witch. It's a... Ah, it's a hungry demon. Oh, yeah, right. That, I always thought those were his horns, too. His hair's just sleek. But it's red. That's the happy mass salesman, man. Shit, and here I went having an idea for, like, a cute, like, demon pred. <laughs> based yeah, off no, of Zelda. Uh, no, that's essentially the happy mass salesman. And the horns are just the sleek shine in his hair. You know, that guy be hungry to live. Maybe he's hungry for the souls of those he has yet to steal the mask from. Mm, I also, might be hungry for some shark soup. Oh, I, I don't don't joke about that one. The, the way they harvest sharks shark fins for shark fin soup is like. I think I know how they do it. That, that's why I didn't say shark fin soup, just shark soup. Yeah, that's I, yeah. That's true. You didn't say shark fin. Yeah, I was gonna joke about shark fin soup. I know what they do, and I think it's absolutely horrible. Yeah, though as it turns out, the way that's commonly known about is slightly more ethical than the way some places do it. That's horrible. Yeah. Um, I was just trying to make a horny joke. Way to make it go somewhere else. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, you work tomorrow? I do, Mom. Um, eleven thirty to eight. Oh, and uh, I on Saturday on the Derby Day, uh, ten thirty to seven. Is this where the hide and seek catching bunnies come from in like Mario uh, sixty four? Possibly. Although if so, that would like be really neat. Well, these are essentially like the same fairies they used it for the fairies in Majora's Mask, you know, the scattered fairies. That's true, but they look kind of like bunnies. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, they totally look like rabbits. Are you going to Laramie tomorrow, Mom? Yeah, can't, can't tag along. Got the work. Alright, I got Ricky's gloves.
You've got Ricky's gloves, but do you have Ricky's loves? Nah, I'd rather have Dimitri's. <laughs> Fair enough. Clearing out more of the workshop, Mom? Bimmy and Ricky. Sorry about the derby. Ah, not your fault. Bimmy and Jammy. I was asking if you were heading back to Laramie to do more clear out on the workshop. Is it just me, or is this breaking my head? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Did you not pay attention to where the fairies were hiding? I did. But you know that one Zelda thing where it's like an infinite loop of stuff? Yeah, they, um, the, the, fairies had, the fairies had used their magic to warp the place. And now I don't remember where I was supposed to go for them. Uh, well, I can't help you because I didn't watch your stream, so I can't. I don't know which ones you found and which I ones know. you had. I need to find the one that's hiding in the rock. Ah, okay. Yeah, I know there was a parade today. It made me late for work. A parade for what? Uh, just the, like, a yearly annual parade sort of thing going on. It. Haha, -ha, I found it. Okay. You found the fatty? Yes, it took me literally going, okay, fuck it. Let's just see which, you know, how many times I have to scroll around to get where I need to go. Thank you for putting the forest back where it belongs. Creepy doll. What are you looking at, Roxanne? Oh, there's a fly in my room. That's that's what she's looking at. Yeah, I found a big rock tent. Never mind, it's gone. What'd you do? I lifted a rock. And when I saw the big rock tent, the rock tent went... Hey! Well, you do that? Jason Finch, thank you for the raid. Let me give you a quick shout out. Shout out to... Jason underscore... Finch. Uh, what were you streaming today, Jason? Pegasus seeds. Ah, very nice. Fantasy Star Universe. Ah, very nice. Very nice. And how did that go? Thirty-three percent of the way of getting six maxed out S-rank pistols. 
Very nice, very nice. So how did you hear about the uh, the channel, Jason? That's a good question. Yeah, I'm very curious. Jason, thank you for the biddies. You're welcome. Those will go straight into the peace fund. Yeah. <laughs> I'd help bring you a little bit closer, man. Oh, well, that means a lot. Lord knows with what's going on, I might have to start considering a PC budget. That's the, uh, you know, it's a, a sort of trope I never quite understood. Uh, what's a trope? Why, uh, when a character falls asleep, they have, like, that huge snot bubble. Ah, uh, I never got that. Uh, streaming on BB server. Ah, if anyone was streaming something, I'd consider rating into. Okay. Okay, well, uh, welcome to the stream. I hope you, uh, you find it entertaining, you know? We'll try our darndest. Ancient cave, beware, crumbles easily. Well, maybe let's... You should, maybe you should have read that sign first. Do, do I need to go reset something? Mm, no. Okay. What was your... How many times have you played Oracle of Ages? Uh, I know you said you played Seasons more, right? Uh, yes. Ages is my favorite, but I've played Seasons more. I've played Ages twice, once back in 2006, and once in 2016. Mm. So about eight years apart, and uh, now. So I have very little of it baked into my memory. Interesting. I just, I don't know, I played Ages first, and it sticks out more to me. I don't remember what I put, what mine was first. Uh, I gotta remember if I tried. Brought to total funds needed for those pistols down to 2,738,000. Each pistol cost 480,000. Ah, okay. Open the floodgates! Open the gate! Open the gate! Or die. I've got a feeling I've got to feed the happy mask salesman something to get the bridge fixed. No. No? Okay. That I shan't bother with trying to figure out how to do that. <laughs> yeah, no, he's part of the trading quest, so you can get the stronger sword. Okay, then I'll I'll futz with him later then. Uh, have you um, have you gotten the uh, the letter yet? The letter? No, I haven't gotten any letter. Yeah, uh, I bu the way um the quest starts, you get a letter give it to somebody that somebody gives you something else you use that something else to get the meat ah, and okay. you get the meat to ha happy mask man I'm trying to figure out how to get to the next dungeon oh uh, you're gonna have to leave the forest okay so it's not in the forest then okay it is in the forest just uh, not in this time Ah, I've got to go back to the past to play the shitty back, games that suck ass. Tell me, what would you rather have? Uh, out of what? 
I was... I was continuing on your reference. To the, uh, to that song. Oh, okay. But... I threw, I threw you a ball and you just let it drop onto the floor. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, sorry. I didn't realize what you were doing. Sorry. <laughs> I think I'd rather have a buffalo take a diarrhea dump in my ear. Nah, you can't save it now. You can't save it at this point. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, maybe I've got to use an ember seed on this. That did not restart the portal back to the past. Oh, uh, yeah, you got You need. You need to get a new item. Okay. You. You need a better item. Do I need the upgraded sword? No. No. Um. It doesn't sound like Levine scared me. I'm seeking shelter in. Oh, Levine's streaming. Okay. Yeah, you, you need to, um, you need to do a thing. Did you, did you actually talk to the tree? Uh, yeah, I've talked to the tree, I think. What the, okay, what the tree say? I don't know, something about essence and memory. Or is this one of those ones where I have to talk to them again after I've given them the thing? Something in Nary's house that can help me. Okay. Maybe I wasn't supposed to freeze the water yet. I think I might have just screwed myself. I've been meaning to check out Fantasy Star Universe at some point, too. I so. never heard it. Oh, um, yeah, the person who rated me, uh, Jason, um, was playing it. Um, was just like, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I've been uh, I've been meaning to give it a check out. Uh, I've I've heard good things about it. Looks like you don't sound happy. To be happy. I am happy. I'm playing. I'm playing with Noble. Why wouldn't I be happy? Oh, okay. Yeah. The Harp of Ages. It's really interesting how often they use instruments in these games as, like, time travel devices. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'm starting to think I'm probably, like, a, the stream playback is probably, like, a good fucking 20 seconds. Uh, to me, it looks like you are... Um, uh, currently fighting some dudes in an L of water. Yeah, yeah, you sounds like you're pretty well in sync on mine. Hold on, I, I, I could fix this real quick. Give me a second. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, anchor arms, buff pants. Also, what a username. Anchor arms, buff pants. I'm just gonna uh, give the stream a quick pause and play again. Oh, I love that my hydrate icons pop up on your stream. <laughs> oh no, we've got a test pattern. Ah, we're back to gameplay. Because let's see, oh. uh, in a link. Uh, in Link's Awakening, there is the Something of Time, which is one of the instruments you get. And uh, A Link to the Past, there's the Time Whistle. Uh, or sorry, no, not the, not the Time Whistle, it's something else, I forget what it's called. You've got the Ocarina of Time. Uh, I, don't rem I don't remember a Time Whistle in fucking Link to the Past. Yeah, I know. I was thinking, but no, it's the Warp Whistle. But that's not for time travel. 
No, yeah, you're right. Uh, but there nor is. Do I remember nor do I remember time travel in Link's Awakening either. No, no, it was just called that. Uh, kind of like how A Link to the Past also doesn't feature time travel at all. Even though the name is A Link to the Past. Well, the game was meant to be like a prequel uh, for the first two games. So it, it might be just more compelling the, like the older story of Ganon and whatnot. True, yeah. Now, this harp, i if I remember correctly, I can use it anywhere. Mm-hmm. Jensen says loud as fuck. Sorry. Yeah, uh, of course you hear beats. I'm on, I am on my last heart. Oh, I think I need Ricky again. That's why I'm stuck. My tune echoes in vain. Yeah, uh, the heart. You can use it everywhere. It doesn't mean it'll work everywhere. So I've got to be on one of the teleport pads, don't I? Or at least on the same screen. Yep, that's kangaroo. With boxing gloves. Kangaroo mm, with boxing gloves. The Aussies will love that. I can't believe I got stuck just because I immediately forgot I had access to Ricky. I'm like, what the fuck do I need to do? Yeah, use the fucking kangaroo companion I just met. God damn it. <laughs> Let's see if I can try and get a heart so I can stop that beeping. I don't think you really need someone to take over your life. I think you just need to get a new sort of life. Uh, no, Angel, I'm pretty happy. 